Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and um, today I'm going to be showing you all the fun stuff I got at the Harry Potter Studios last September. Um, it's the 21st of October today and you'll probably be seeing this around the beginning of November. Um, so I know I'm really late with this because I went to the studios like the 18th of September. So that's like one month and a half I think. So yeah, I know, I'm really late with this, but we're going to have fun, I'm going to show you all the stuff I got. Uh, I got some pretty great stuff and I can't wait to show you everything. But first, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Angela and I make Harry Potter videos. Cl please click the subscribe button down below if you want to stay up to date about everything that's happening here on my channel. Okay, and now let's get on with it. I'm going to show you what amazing stuff I got at the studios this time. Um, so first of all, I went during the Goblet of Fire feature, which means I got this amazing Harry Potter uh, name tag thingy, how do you call this? It's Harry's name that uh, flew out of the Goblet of Fire. Um, I tried to get the other ones as well, but unfortunately it's only Harry's name that you can get during the Goblet of Fire. Um, but aside from that, I also had some amazing butterbeer ice cream at the Backlot Cafe. Uh, last time I had the butterbeer and I really liked it, but this time I want to try something else, so I went with the ice cream. Um, the ice cream is a lot. You get a huge amount of ice cream. It's like all the way up. Um, but it's, it, it tastes amazing. Like, if you like butterbeer, like the taste of, what is it, scotch soda, I don't know, then it, it tastes like, uh, like we say in Dutch, stropwafels, um, so, which is one of my favorite uh, sorts of cookies, so for me it's, it's definitely a bonus, like I'm going back in December and I'm already looking forward to getting another glass of butterbeer or butterbeer ice cream, I don't really mind either of them. I think I'm going to go with the butterbeer because I had the butterbeer ice cream this time. And then of course the first thing I did when I got to the main shop was go to the honeyduke section and there I got all these different kinds of candy. Like so most of them I got last time as well but I decided to display them in my glass cabinet um, and this time I want to get some extras that I could eat. And I haven't tried any of these yet, um, but I'm definitely going to. Um, might even try some on camera. Now the first ones I got are these Fizzing Wispies. And the Fizzing Wispies are um, milk chocolate with fruit flavor popping candy. Like, that's going to taste amazing, I just know it. Now the second item I got is one of my favorite and that's the peppermint toast and apparently it tastes just like the after eight uh, chocolates and after eight are my favorite kind of chocolate so that's uh, why I decided to take this to buy this one as well um, and because of the packaging I really like the packaging um, love the color uh, the color the light blue yeah so. Then I got some Bertie Pots, every flavored beans, um, and that's just because of the different tastes and because it's so popular in the books and the movies that I really want to try these. I got some exploding bonbons and I got these because um, it's white chocolate with an orange and pineapple flavor, uh, a truffle center and popping candy. So. White chocolate is um, another one of my favorites, so that's why I got these. Oh, for the prices, I completely forgot about the prices. I think they are all around seven to nine pounds. I know the, the last item I got is this chocolate frog, and the chocolate frogs are nine pounds. So I know the peppermint toads are five pounds, and I think the rest is like six, seven, eight pounds around that uh, price range. Uh, but, you know, don't uh, count me out on it, because I can't say for sure. And then, of course, the last item I got is this 
chocolate frog now i haven't opened it yet so i don't know which wizard card i got i'm just going to open it now and see which one i got um so i already have dumbledore and bertie Potts. so any other wizard is fine with me and my friend annalyn who went with me to the studios uh, last time uh, she bought a she bought a chocolate frog as well and she was like if you got a double one then you can uh, switch with mine because uh, she hasn't got any one of them and she was happy with either so let's see which one we got oh yes so we got Salazar Slytherin really happy with him um, I don't have him yet uh, and he's one of the celebrated founders of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Um, he was one of the first recorded parcel mounts, an accomplished legilimens, and a notorious champion of pure blood supremacy. His last remaining heir was Lord Voldemort. Yeah. Oh, and the card moves. Oh, not really, to be honest. I don't know if I show you if you can see it, that it moves. I don't really see it that it moves to be honest like I had the idea that um, Bertie Potts and Dumbledore move more I'm really happy with them don't have him yet so uh, yeah um, I'm probably going to get another chocolate frog when I go into December to be honest so this is a chocolate frog um, a lot of people have done uh, videos about it it's just one big piece of 150 grams of chocolate tastes amazing that's all i can say about it to be honest and the last items i got from the honey duke section are these lollies um lollipops lollies what do they say in england lollies lollipops um the one this one is cherry cola yes and this one is just cola Cola, cola. They look really nice in their uh, packaging. As you can see, I hope you can see them. Otherwise, I'll if I notice on camera that you can't view them very good, I'll um, make a separate video of them to add in this video. And that's it for the candy. So that's the candy I got uh, from the studios. So aside from the candy, I also got some other items. And that are these amazing pin badges. Um, like when I went the first time, it was one of the many things that I noticed at the uh, shop. But I thought them quite expensive. So this time I decided to just save some money for them. Um, so I could justify buying them. Now the first item, uh, the first pin badge I bought is this uh, Weasley shop uh, sign. And I really like the colors of purple and orange. Um, and that's why I really wanted them. Uh, it's going to fit very nicely on my pin board. And yeah, it's just a very stunning. Uh, item. Now the second item is actually I bought this one because I really liked the candy um, from the Harry Potter movies and books and that's this Honey Dukes uh, sign and the Honey Duke sign is just very important because of the different candies and I really like that it, it like hangs on it it looks like a real sign so no oh, this one was uh, so the Weasley sign was six ninety five, and the Honey Duke sign was seven ninety five. And last but not least is this Yule Ball invitation badge. Uh, this one was six ninety five as well, and was the first pin I ever um, wrote down on my uh, wanted list. I absolutely love the fact that it's a snowflake. Uh, and it really looks like a mini invitation to the ball. Okay, now to be fair with you, this is 
all I got at the studios this time. Like, I know it's not a lot. Um, I think I was... It cost me around 60 or 65 pounds. Which is still quite a lot, if you know that most of it is candy. Which I'm going to eat, so... Not much is going to be left of my 60, 65 pounds. Um, but I didn't get anything else. Like, I really wanted to remember all, but that one wasn't in stock at the moment. And um, I really wanted uh, something for Christmas, like a Christmas stocking. Um, or the, the Christmas decoration from Hufflepuff. But I didn't really like the items that they had. And then the one Christmas item that I did like... Another man dropped and it broke in a thousand pieces. So, in the end, I didn't buy anything else. Um, I might buy some more items in December though, because um, I really missed out on getting Fang, the, the plushie. Uh, and I really want him, so I think I'm going to buy him in December, because I'm going for my birthday then, so I can justify buying him then. Um, but that's it for the Harry Potter Studios. Now, we didn't only go to the Harry Potter Studios. A day before that, so on September the 17th, we also went to the Noble Collection. Now, last time I went to the Noble Collection, I got everything off my wish list for except one item. So if you saw that video, you probably know what this video is, go uh, what this item is going to be. Um, because they had it back in stock. Now I'm going to try and open this with another keychain. Oh, maybe I can open it like this. Yeah. Okay. It's also an option. I'm really happy I finally get to unpack this because I couldn't unpack it because I still had to film everything but now I can unwrap it and put it in my gloss cabinet afterwards. So, anyone want to take a guess what this is? If you do then please write it down in the comments down below and I'll let you know if you were close or not. And this time... Oh, absolutely stunning. It's so heavy. But this time I only got one item at the Noble Collection shop and that's this stunning Hufflepuff cup. Uh, it's really heavy. Like I definitely underestimated the weight of this. It's a small cup uh, with the bachelor on the front um, and it's got two small ears on the side. It looks like it's gold, so no, if it's real gold, don't think so. But yeah. Oh, there's a small hole inside of it as well, because you can't drink for it, from it. The Hufflepuff cup. And that's everything I got. Uh, this time in London, so I when I got the Hufflepuff cup at the Noble Collection shop, it was forty nine pounds, by the way, very important as well. Um, and that's it. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below to subscribe and stay up to date about everything that's happening here on my channel. And then I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>